LV55 Media LLC presents Private Investigations Read Aloud, a chronological scene-by-scene -scene read through of the Private Investigations Book 1 and Book 2 novel for the viewing community. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. As Megan starts to walk away, she feels someone tap her opposite shoulder, startling her and causing her to quickly turn around to face Brandon. Hey, little lady, he says in a somewhat cocky but flirtatious manner, causing Megan to frown. Excuse me? That's not my name, she insists. Hey, how about letting me show you and your lady friends over there some of our newest nutrition booster products, Brandon questions. How many times ha do I have to tell you we're not interested, Megan insists again. Ah, oh, come on, he begs. Megan frowns before taking a deep breath. <sighs> What is this like, the 17th time, she sarcastically asked. That statement and tone alerts Samantha and Jennifer to hone in on Megan and Brandon's conversation. Okay then, maybe I can interest you and your girls on becoming sales reps, he offers. Samantha starts removing her earrings. How about you, Megan sarcastically declares, pointing her finger towards her harasser. Just leave us alone. Oh, hell no. Samantha utters, standing up to go intervene, causing Jennifer to stand up and grasp her friend's arm, stopping her. Let it go, Sam, Jennifer insists. Meg can handle it. Just buzz off, Megan finally demands before attempting to walk away. Brandon quickly grabs Megan's arm, tightly spinning her towards him. But as Megan spins around, she quickly breaks his grip, which angers and embarrasses Brandon. Hey! I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but don't ever disrespect me that before Brandon finishes his sentence, Megan quickly grabs the glass of water from the counter and tosses the liquid in Brandon's face and on his shirt, then punches him in the stomach. As Brandon doubles over, he quickly tries to recover and grabs Megan's arm again. Just as Megan starts to break Brandon's grip again, a much bigger hand grabs Brandon's arm. That's enough, my man. You're out of here, Jonathan shouts. Leave! Now! I don't want to see you in my establishment again, he shouts again, pointing towards the entrance door while glaring at Brandon. As Brandon <laughs>, coughs a few times while wiping his face and shirt, a hush of silence has fallen over the entire coffee shop as patrons and employees are motionless, staring at the two men's standoff. Finally, an unhappy Jonathan grabs Brandon's upper arm. Let go of me, you big asshole, Brandon shouts while Jonathan drags and shoves Brandon out the front entrance door towards the sidewalk. Out on the sidewalk, Brandon, still breathing hard, points towards Jonathan. This ain't the end of this, Jonathan. I'm gonna get you back. You mark my word, he angrily states, while slightly coughing and rubbing his stomach. Next time I'm calling the cops, Jonathan insists. As Jonathan and Brandon continue to stare down at one another, Jonathan finally speaks. Bye! he says in a sarcastic tone. Brandon, still glaring at Jonathan, finally flips him off with two fists before turning around and walking away, still rubbing his stomach. What the hell is wrong with that guy, Jonathan mutters to himself, observing Brandon walking away for several moments before he himself turns around and walks back towards the coffee shop entrance. Just as Jonathan is entering the coffee shop, he slightly bumps into the inconspicuous, unidentified man exiting the coffee shop in somewhat of a hurry. Excuse me, Jonathan, the man says. Yeah, whatever, Jonathan replies, holding the door open for two more customers exiting the coffee shop. The bubbling, whirring sounds of the cappuccino espresso machines are heard again along with the usual customer murmur alerting Jonathan that his establishment is pretty much back to normal. Janice, the coffee shop's assistant manager, calls out a customer's name for a pickup just as Jonathan walks towards the table where Megan and her friends are seated. Jennifer is gently rubbing her hand along her best friend's shoulder, providing comfort. I'm real sorry about this, Megan. You okay? Jonathan asks, showing concern for one of his favorite customers. I'm fine. I'm okay. Thanks, Jonathan. You okay? Yeah, I'll make sure that jerk is banned from coming in here again. We're glad you finally kicked him out, Jennifer says. Your food and drinks are on the house today, Jonathan insists. Samantha, smirking, notices 
Nicole sitting motionless at their table with her eyes still wide open. Samantha waves her hand in front of her homegirl's face. Earth to Nikki, you okay? She inquires, causing Nicole to finally blink and everyone at the table to smirk. Wow, Meg, I didn't know you could do all that, Nicole exclaims, causing everyone at the table to smirk again. Jonathan finally winces, looking towards Megan. Again, Megan, I apologize. I don't want our friendship ruined over this, he says, still concerned. Megan looks down at the table for several moments, then looks towards Jonathan with a slight smile. Will you increase our tab by $25, she asks, easing the coffee shop owner's uh, concerns. You bet, he quickly responds, somewhat relieved. Then let's forget this happened, Megan insists, sticking her fist out in front of her as she and Jonathan fist bump. Hey, I gotta get back to work. As Jonathan walks back towards the service counter, Samantha looks towards Megan and scoffs. <laughs> Girl, that's what I like to see. You whooping tail. She sarcastically jokes, causing the rest of the girlfriends to all chuckle. Want to get out of here, Jennifer asks. Yeah, that's a good idea, Megan answers. The foursome spend the next several moments gathering their school books, backpacks, and personal belongings before walking towards the exit door and leaving the coffee shop. To learn more about Sam Aquino and the many other characters involved in these mysterious, intriguing, suspenseful, and coincidental fiction stories, purchase a copy of Private Investigations, Book 1 and Book 2, in one volume by visiting Doran's Publishing, available both in softcover and ebook formats, also available at Amazon Books and Barnes & Noble.